London, it's easy to recognize. But look closely at a map. In the very center, there's a one square mile cutout. This is the city of London, which lives in a city named London. The city has its own mayor, laws, and police force. In fact, it behaves more like a separate country within the United Kingdom. This is because the city's been around for much longer than the UK. It was built by the Romans and has remained semi-autonomous ever since. To embody its fiery independence, the city's emblem is a dragon, not a bad choice. You'll spot these statues. They guard the boundary of the square mile. Nowadays, the city's arguably the financial capital of the world. And London is the world's biggest foreign exchange market. But the city has a tiny residential population. Every weekday, workers flood into the banks, law firms and offices which fill the square mile. But it's not all work. This is 1 p.m. You might say no surprise here, city workers having a drink, but attitudes are changing. The legendary long lunch at the pub is now seen as a bit of a macho relic. In 2017, Lloyds of London, the legendary insurance market, told its employees the party's over. No more drinks during office hours. But as you can see, not everyone got the memo. Because here's the rub of it. The city had a bit of a reputation. When the after work crowd go home, the place becomes a ghost town. But that's changing, and leading the way are some high-flying dining spots. Sitting on top of the Heron Tower is the Duck and Waffle. It offers 24-7 service with a hell of a view. This is about as refined as a 24-hour waffle house gets. But the most talked about new guest who's reinventing the city's reputation is called the Ned. Over 500 million pounds has been spent turning this old bank into a private members club and hotel. With eight restaurants in the lobby and a bar that stays open till 4 a.m., the Ned's injected some late night atmosphere into the city. This is after all, the oldest part of London and following an injection of fun and flavor, it's throwing down a challenge to the rest of the city and shaking off its stuffy reputation.